Hey, welcome back to PPL Navigation and Flight Planning. Uh, so we're still working with the circular slide roll. and um, We're just going to do some more calculations, and I know this seems to be dragging on, but we'll get there. One of the very common and probably more asked questions in the exams is uh, to do with consumption, burn rates, um, flight time, fuel used, minimum fuel requirements. So it's important that we can actually get this nailed down in its entirety. So to calculate the burn rate, simply position the fuel burn rate on the outer scale above the 60 because it's a time related factor. So fuel burn will be X burnt per something. So on the inner scale, um, and then you read off the fuel consumption on the outer scale above the time on the inner scale. Time's always inside, right? So we've been doing this in, in multiple different ways. And as long as you remember that fuel burn on the outside of the 60 gives you fuel consumption over time consumed. So to walk through an example, a Cessna 152 burns 25 litres an hour on average. Um, when you're reading questions in the exam, look at anything referencing a per hour, and then you know that it's going to be sitting above the 60, not the 10. Um, so what is the fuel burn in 84 minutes? So all we do is we know that it's 25 litres per hour, and we put that over the 60 part of the inside of that dial. And then we also know that in 84 minutes, we need to know how much we've burnt. So if we find 84 on the inside scale, um, and we just look on the outside, and that gives us 35 liters ish. And remember, you've got a you've got a, 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 a variation that you're allowed while you do calculations on the E6B, because well, the E6B is notoriously not 100% accurate, but it's indicative. So, when calculating the minimum fuel required, you will need to calculate the flight time for your flight, and remember to add the legal minimum fuel reserves which you are required to have on board, and varies if you are flying day or night. So it's always total trip plus reserves, and those reserves are generally calculated in minutes, so 30 minutes for a day's trip and 45 minutes for a night. So. Fuel consumption given burn rate and time. Now, under the Civil Aviation Rule 91305, fuel requirements for a flight under VFR, a pilot in command of an aeroplane must not begin a flight under VFR unless, in the forecast weather conditions, the airplane has enough fuel to fly to the first point of the intended landing at the planned normal cruising speed and fly after that point of an intended landing for at least a further 30 minutes during the day or a further 45 minutes at night. Now those of you who've done the air law exam, you'll obviously know this, and if you don't, you've obviously been more than a week since you've sat the exam. But this is one of those, those key exam questions in law, and it's also one of the key exam questions in flight math. So we're going to do a, 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 a few more here, and again, remember that the circular slide rule is also um, a comparison between litres and US gallons, litres and pounds, um, and you may, not very often, but there are some questions floating around the exams that want you to convert that output. So, a pilot in command of an aeroplane must not fly a flight under VFR unless the forecasted weather conditions the aeroplane has enough fuel to fly past the first point of the intended landing at the planned normal cruising speed and fly thereafter 30 minutes during the day, 45 minutes at night. So, consumption rate 25 litres an hour, flight time 154, what is your minimum fuel that you require? Now, when you actually work it out, um, you'll, you'll look at it and work it out at 64, but you have to factor in that additional time. Plus 30 gives you 77. So your turn. 36 litres an hour, your flight time is 214 minutes. What is your minimum fuel requirement?
Now I hope you're coming up with 127 plus the minimum fuel reserve. If not, go back and check. Remember this isn't an exact science, but they want you to be as accurate as possible. So now let's say we're going to be working in US gallons. So 14 US gallons per hour and the flight time is 541 minutes. What is your minimum fuel? 133 US gallons. Now, 20 US gallons per hour, 46 minutes. Work out your minimum fuel. Remember to add those 30 minutes to the flight time to give you the corresponding details. And the answer is 25.2 US gallons. If not, go back round, replay the video, keep doing it until you can get it right, and you can get it pretty much accurate. You're going to have maybe uh, a, a, a 0.2 deficiency either side. So you, you can you can work with, if your answer was 23.2 or 23.5 or 26, 27, that's with intolerance, and those, those tolerances will be allowed in the exam. So that was just a quick um, final wrap up of that part. Please have a look, see how you get on. Redo the exam if you, or redo this slide if you need to until you can get it pretty much nailed. All right. Best of luck. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, and love the people that advertise on here because that's the only thing that's keeping us going. Thanks.